That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of the beast. That's the sound of the police. Police facts obtained by Daily Mail Australia reveal how the deviant cop abused his trusted position in the community, bribing the vulnerable teenager with alcohol and vape. A well-known, trusted and respected member of the local community and now an accused sex offender. The retired father of two and grandfather was arrested by officers from SAPOL's Special Crime Investigation Section in June. The charge? One count of communicating to make a child amenable to sexual activity. The alleged offending occurred at Berry between the 15th of May and 5th of June last year, involving a boy under the age of 17 over an extended period of time and multiple platforms. Warland didn't attend his first appearance in Berry on Monday, instead dialing in by phone from his lawyer's office at Christie's Beach and immediately sought to avoid his name and image going public. Warland Yeah, but you're choking, you're choking her. There's a man on a guy, there's a man on a girl. There's a man on a girl and you choke her. For what? For a mask? For not, for not having a mask? Look how pathetic you are. She doesn't have a mask. Are you serious? Are you serious? Just for not having a mask. For no mask. Are you fucking serious? You're fucking pathetic. You are pathetic. You're fucked. Get off her. Get off her, cunt. Get off her. Get off her. Get off her. Get off. No, get off her! Bush! No! No! I'm not going to! She's she's Oh! Oh! That is wrong. Not consent officer. Place the key I have not committed any room. crime. Now. I have not committed any crime. You have, you committed I have not committed any there, crime. Please. I have not committed you any crime. What laws did I break? 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 Relax and leave your scary life to me. What laws did I break? What laws did I break? I have not broken any laws. Sabrina, let me relax. It has been revealed officers withheld crucial information about Claire Nowlin's death for two days. There are calls tonight for the police minister to be sacked. Held his conviction, described the pictures you're about to see as difficult viewing. Traumatised to this day. Big three years. And this is why. My name's Jane Malakis. I'm Sir. a senior constable at Castle Hill Police. You yeah. sit down. Recorded on three body cams, including probationary constables learning from their senior. Let me kick the on the ground. Sir! Steve McIver's seven year old son is already wailing. Please don't make my dad up here! And he is about to watch dad get flogged by a man whose job is to protect them. So I'll do whatever you want, sir. Tell me. Senior Constable Jay Malekis pepper sprays Steve. He bites back. Oh, don't bite me. Don't you bite me, you Don't you bite me. Yeah, all right, sir. I'm over it. I'm over it. Let me go. The victim is allowed to turn on his side, overcome with pepper spray. I can't breathe right now. <coughs> sir, thank you. Thank you, sir. Revealing a face matted with blood as Malekis approaches his son. 
Come here, mate. Comforting him with the very hands he had used to assault the boy's father. On at the moment. I'm 72. Ever since I left high school, all I've put up with in this country is fucking government departments at every level. Local government, state government, federal government. They do nothing but interfere in your life continually. They just can't help their fucking self because they're all megalomaniacs. Every last politician in this country is nothing but a self-serving bigot. They're there for one reason. That's their own hip pocket. The only interest they've got is fucking lining their own hip pockets. The business that's going on at the moment... Uncle, when you saw me then, could I leave my place? Okay, fair enough. Fair answer. Maybe. Yeah, I'm still here, Buttercup. Hello?